purpose of this video is to help understand at a high level some of the terminology used within Hornbill's service level management functionality, and also how this is structured within Hornbill before you map out your configuration. As the name suggests, Hornbill Service Manager is service centric, so everything starts with our service. In this case, it's called IT Support. Linked to a service are one or more Corporate Service Level Agreements, or the abbreviation SLAs. In Hornbill terms, these are containers that hold a specific set of service levels and their targets, and are also associated to a single working time calendar. When a request is logged, the SLA that is used is decided by rules that you have configured based on some details relating to your request. In my example, my SLA is for UK customers only, so it contains the UK working calendar, with its relevant time zone, working hours and holidays. Also contained within an SLA are one or more service levels. Each service level can have two targets, one for a response time measure and one for a resolution time measure. A single service level is associated to a request, again dependent on rules that you configure. Here we have three service levels within the UK SLA, each one based on the priority of a request. The target for each of these service levels is different, so there are shorter target times for higher priority incidents. Here, our first rule states that if the request priority is high, the request should link to the service level 1 high priority service level. And as you can see, we have other rules set up as well to decide when the other service levels should be used. So we have our SLA set up with its service level and targets based on the priority for our UK customers. But what if we have customers in the USA with their own time zone, working hours and public holidays? This is where we would create another SLA called Service Level Agreement 2 USA SLA, for example and this time we link our USA working calendar to it. The rest of the SLA is very similar to our UK one. We have three service levels based on the priority, and you may or may not have the same target times within them. The key difference in this scenario is it will be used based on a different working calendar. Just like the service levels, we need to set up some rules to decide which SLA or container is used. We do it in exactly the same way, but this time at the SLA level. So here, my first SLA rule states that if the site of the request is London or Manchester, the system is to select our UK SLA and its set of service levels and rules for that request. But if the site is New York or Miami, the system should select the USA SLA. So here we end up with two SLAs linked to a particular service, each SLA with its own service levels, rules and working calendar. The great thing is corporate SLAs can be used across multiple services, so when you have one SLA set up, you can reuse it wherever you like. Here is one more example using multiple SLAs but slightly differently. For this hardware procurement service, we have two SLAs called Gold and Silver. They use the same calendar, and the service levels are once again based on the priority of the request. But notice our gold service level targets are much shorter than that, than that of the silver targets. This allows you to potentially have different grades of SLA offerings, possibly for a premium subscription or for VIP customers. Here we simply change the criteria in the rules to select which SLA is used for the request. So this time it's looking at the request customer to make the decision. In this case, if it's Mark Manager or Dave Director, we use our gold SLA and targets and for everyone else we use our standard silver SLA.